still with critics, some people say you invest more uh, into the neighboring country, Senegal, than you do in the Gambia. So this is a pregnant question. Some people also say uh, when Jammeh was here, brutalizing people, killing people, taking people to jail unnecessarily, and uh, abusing our rights, um, where, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I have answered these questions too many times already. Uh, but I would answer them again. You know, it is important for a country to have rule of law. When you, once you do not have rule of law and you have endemic corruption, it's a recipe for disaster. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nobody would want to invest in that country, not even its citizens. Mm -hmm. True or false? Yeah. Exactly. And I am no exception. I had money to invest. I looked around. I did not have the courage to invest it in the Gambia because we had a dictatorship that could take your property, whether you liked it or not, we have seen it. We had a dictatorship that did not respect the law. We have seen it at the TRRC. We had a corrupt system. We have seen it both at the TRRC and the Janne Commission. Mm. Should I be willing to take that high a risk? And I was a lawyer at the ICC. Mm -hmm. And Jame was always being threatened by activists that the ICC is going to indict him or, ha or have already invite, indicted him. And who would be a better person to do so other than me? Mm. And there was a time those days an article was written which suggested that these were the Gambians who were going to prosecute Jame. And our pictures were put there. Okay. Mm. And all those people whose pictures were put mm. there mm. were the prosecutors. Mm. I was the only senior trial lawyer. Mm. So if which meant if Jame was to be taken to court, I would be the one to go to court. Because the prosecutors don't go to court. They only go to court to do the ceremonial things, mm. opening or closing a case. Mm. But, they, but, they, but the real work in the court would be done by the senior trial lawyers like me. Mm. You think it would have been wise for me to take the risk? No. I have invested a lot in this country. Mm. Yes. I have invested in quality homes. I did. Okay. Okay? At a point, you see, I don't want to talk in terms that would suggest that I'm flaunting wealth or stuff, stuff like that. I, that is not my style. But you recall there was that time when Jame held that CD saying that uh, there's, there's oil in this country and this country is going to be like Singapore or is going to be like Dubai. Mm -hmm. I built houses thinking that, okay, I would rent them out. In fact, this house we are, we are living in now was, was rented by Gum Petroleum. But what he promised was not true. It didn't happen. Okay? But I had invested in those properties. Mm. And for those who don't know, I had invested in money transfer business. I had about 10 outlets. I was the first to own is financial services. Mm. And not only that, mm -hmm. I owned a transport company in this country. I owned 23 minivans. Mm. Is that not investment? Mm. Tell me what is investment mm. then. I invested millions of dollars in this country. And in 2014, I had to close some of these businesses for personal reasons. But I can assure you that investing in this country is difficult, especially if you live abroad, mm -hmm. simply because of the factors that exist here. Okay. And that is one of the reasons I am running for president, okay. to be able to change these things mm -hmm. such that Gambians abroad can invest in their country and be, be safe mm -hmm. with their investment, mm -hmm. to know that things would go right. Mm -hmm. And that is why I want to open the diaspora, mm -hmm. uh, the diaspora assistance, diaspora affairs office, mm -hmm. Department of Diaspora Affairs, within the office of the president to help people in the diaspora navigate through the these difficulties. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have indicated the other day that, you know, in Kenya, there's the Matatu business is a very successful one. That is the minivan business. Mm -hmm. I thought I could do it in Gambia, and I bought 23 minivans. It ended up in a big disaster simply because of some of the problems in this country. The corruption, the theft, 
the deliberate destruction of a person's properties. Mm. These are things that happen in this country. We have to change. We have to change the attitudes. Just imagine if I had received the support that I needed. That company of 23 minivans could have now been a company of 50 minivans. Mm. How many Gambians would get jobs? More than 100 Gambians would get jobs. Mm. So that means you've invested in this country. Yes, I have. And I have invested a lot in this country. And I have a number of houses in this country. Mm. I have a lot of land in this country. Mm. Okay? And I have invested in other businesses. Mm. So to say that I did not invest in this country mm. is just speaking out of utter ignorance. Okay. Yes, I have invested elsewhere for two things for safety of my investment, mm. and also for profit. Mm. Let me tell you uh, another interesting paradigm. It is more expensive to build a house in Gambia. But a house in Dakar is much more valuable than a house in Gambia. Mm. So you see. Yeah. So it makes a lot of sense That's for someone like me to invest in Senegal. Mm. You see. But those days when I invested in Senegal, being in Gambia was risky mm -hmm. for someone like me. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see, I was in Gambia one day when an article was published saying that Jame was indicted at the ICC and that they have concrete evidence that that happened. Mm -hmm. I was in Gambia at the time. Mm -hmm. I could have been disappeared. Mm -hmm. People have been disappeared for uh, much, much flimsier reasons. Mm -hmm. You see, and that is why it was risky for someone like me. Mm 